Scientists work to understand every facet of our world. They are working to understand how pieces of our world are created, whilst also wondering how other components erupt and disappear. From the most minor atomic structure to some of the most significant systems in our galaxy, we find new discoveries all the time. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three new discoveries. Orang Maus Cryptid A cryptid is a term given to a creature or being who is largely mythological and has not been proven to exist by the scientific community. However, several creatures once given the cryptid name have turned out to be not as fictitious as first believed. For example, the Colacanth and the Akapi were once cryptids and have now been scientifically acknowledged to exist. The Orang Maus Cryptid of the Jungle of Jawa in Malaysia is another example of a being that was thought to be the stuff of legends, but there have been so many reported sightings that entire web groups have sprung up, dedicated to proving its existence. This creature is rumoured to be a hominid about 10 feet tall, walking on two legs and covered in black fur. The locals of the jungle, the Orang Asli people, call the Orang Mawas Hantu Jarang Jiji, which means snaggletooth ghost and they have many legends which tell of the creature being sighted feeding on fish and raiding orchards. Although sightings of the Orang Maus have been reported regularly as far back as 1871, with legend and myth dating the sightings back even further, many believe that it is not a cryptid at all, but merely a surviving relative of the Gigantopithecus, which was an enormous ancient ape. Still, others dismiss the sightings entirely and claim that it is simply a sun bear, a black bear that feeds on fruit and is native to the area, being mistaken for something more sinister. Verified sightings of the Orang Mawas have occurred since the 1950s, with a highly publicised sighting occurring as recently as 2005 that gave a large amount of credence to believers in the cryptid species. Three local workers clearing land all reported seeing three Orang Mawas, two adults and a child, walking along the river together, as though they were a family. Upon later investigation, along the riverbank were large humanoid footprints up to a foot and a half long, where the Mawas family had supposedly been sighted. The momentum of the mystery surrounding the creatures truly took off several months later at the beginning of 2006 when a local Malaysian newspaper published photographs of a fresh tar footprint that was believed to be from the Orang Mawas. Later that same month, Johor authorities announced that they would be sending an official government expedition to try to prove the existence of the Mawas, and in doing so, became the first country to have an officially sanctioned hunt for a mysterious hominid. Some reports from the expedition claimed that they found and captured an Orang Mawas later that same year, but the official report denied it. Orang Mawas fanatics believe that sightings of the creature are becoming more common as humans carve into the jungle and destroy its home, and it is forced to expose itself to humans, meaning that it is only a matter of time before its existence is proven once and for all, while others simply believe the sightings are misidentified apes and orangutans. Only time will tell whether this mysterious cryptid is truly out there in the jungles of Malaysia, and for now, the search continues. The Mysterious Holes of Peru In Peru, there is a strip of holes, an estimated 5,000 to 6,000 of them, described as man-sized, forming the Band of Holes, or Monte Sierpe, Serpent Mountain in Spanish. Whilst there has been a great deal of speculation into the purpose and creation of these holes, not much is definitively known. Some have suggested they were storage pits built within the Inca Empire, whilst others have theorized they were graves or places to take defense in battle. The band covers a north to south direction, traveling for 1.5 kilometers. These holes range from 50 to 100 centimeters deep and are each around 1 meter in diameter, a sizing often described as man-sized. Modern researchers have formed many speculations. In 1933, 
Robert Shippey of National Geographic published a photograph of the area from above. This caught the eye of many, drawing the holes of Peru somewhat into the spotlight. In 1953, Victor Wolfgang von Hagen took over the narration in his writing entitled The Royal Road of the Inca. He called the holes pre-Inca graves, describing the shaking linework to be the curves of a serpent, hence the secondary name Monte Sierpe. On the other hand, the 1984 book The Inca Road System, written by archaeologist John Hislop, describes them as storage possibilities, whilst acknowledging that this is merely speculation. Still, the storage hypothesis, if accurate, would make the Band of Holes one of the Inca Empire's largest storage areas. A more modern suggestion, made in 2015, suggests that the holes could be a form of measurement to record gifts, produce and inventory, particularly those presented as a tribute. These holes could have formed one part of a process that informed official documents. As this idea was formed, archaeologists from UCLA were able to visit the site and capture photographs of the area through the use of a drone. We may never completely determine what these mysterious holes are for, though the more modern explanations are seemingly shifting away from the macabre suggestion of graves. Doomsday Seed Vault in Norway In the age of technology, we are constantly being reminded of the importance to back up our documents, our photos, our data. Make sure we do not lose what we cannot replace and always have a backup. Well, now this message is extending beyond the world of IT and into that of agriculture. The world now has a secure, stable backup for all crop varieties we have here on Earth. The Vault in Norway aims to help the future make sure we do not lose what we have, and fight issues an ever-growing population will face. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it is that people like to stock up. So, it should come as no surprise that the vault is not the first attempt to collect food crops to preserve and keep safe. With conflict, natural disasters, poor management, and a host of other threats, most of these are not comprehensive. It only takes a minor blip to destroy a crop variety entirely and definitively. The vault, however, fills this gap. It keeps multiples of the world's crops and seeds. They are preserved and kept safe through permafrost and thick rock, eliminating a reliance on power that could easily result in the loss of seeds. The vault can be home to 4.5 million different crops, each crop type having an average 500 seeds within the sample. Now, more than a million samples are shut away in the vault, spanning the globe in their origin. Could this huge undertaking massively help the future of our planet? Could we be both saving crops and helping the next generations? The vault is an ambitious concept, though the work is undeniably monumental. There is so much going on in the world, from research into the depths of space to projects that take to the soil right beneath our feet. The world we research is a fascinating place. But what do you make of these incredible discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.